Hi everyone, I'm Erin from TerraWorks, and today I want to give you a sneak peek at the features that are coming out in our next release. Some of the new functionality in TerraWorks 4.3 includes improvements to the Jobs Manager, drill-down hierarchy filters, and editing published surveys. In TerraWorks 4.3, the Jobs tab has a new but familiar look and feel. These changes allow for more consistent user experience throughout the application, as well as streamlining the actions you can take associated with a job like publishing and setting up performance targets. The next feature we'll preview is Drill Down Hierarchy Filters. As a reminder, Drill Down Hierarchies are lists of records from Salesforce that the mobile user can use in their TerraWorks jobs. These new filters will allow you to limit the records that are being displayed. For example, you can choose to display only the farmers that are in an active status, or only biodigesters that have been flagged in need of servicing. This feature ensures that your mobile users are only looking at the records they need for a particular job. Drill down hierarchy filters can also be used to facilitate queues of work in the field. Let's take a look. In my system, I have well sites and I have well site members. I have three well site members that belong to well site one, two are active, and one is inactive. Let's say I have a job to check in on those well site members, but I only want to display the active records to my mobile users. To do this, I can add a drill on hierarchy filter. I do this by going to the appropriate object that we'd like to filter and clicking add. Then I can set up criteria such that the only records that will be displayed are records where the active field has a value of yes. Then after we publish the job, When the mobile user drills down into that well site, they'll only see the two active users and not the inactive user. You can add a filter for any field type except relationship fields, dates, text area fields, and geolocation. The last major feature is the ability to edit published surveys. Now you'll be able to test and iterate on your surveys without having to create a new job to push the changes to the device. This feature will save you time and allow you to continuously incorporate feedback from your stakeholders. Let's say for the well site member check-in survey, we've received some feedback from our mobile users that they would like a comments question added to the survey. For this published survey, to do that, I can just click on edit. I can change the alias if I'd like. Then I can add the comments question. map my new question to the new field I've created on my well site member check-in object and click save. Now to push those changes to the device, all I have to do is publish those changes on the survey. I do that from the surveys tab by clicking the green play button and publish. So if we would have continued down this path with the well site member check-in survey, as you can see, there's no comments question. Now that we've published changes to the survey, we can sync to get the update. Now, we should be able to see the additional question added to our published survey without having to create another job. You can make any changes to a published survey so long as a question isn't involved in task mapping. For more information on our upcoming release, please visit our website at terrorworks.zendesk.com and tune in for our release webinar on July 6, where we'll dive into these features in more detail. Thank you for watching and have a great day.